All right, one final look at the Ash vs. Evil Dead Army of Darkness style chainsaw. Fully finished. So the cuff has been shortened as I said I would. Um, the pull cord still works like it should. Top got a little bit more weathering. Um, I've put some silver plug studs in the top here just to kind of have that bolted look. There's screws under it. Um, I just didn't want to do studs, so it just gives it a little bit more of an authentic look. And the bar, I've extended it out so that it is the full 20 inches from the body like it should be. Um, I may still go in with some Molotow Chrome and hit some of this for some reflective stuff, because you can see I've really, really taken weathering and used some different silvers to kind of highlight some of it. Uh, I've clear coated this whole thing so it's... Uh, it's not going to rust on me, but I've shortened up the black in the front of the blade. And you can see it does have the five divots and everything that the DVD cover had. It was very fortunate that I found a blade that has this. I have added the bar. And, uh, excuse me, I've added the chain on the bar. The bar has been there. And you can see it reflects very nicely. A uh, little bit of a gap there, which you do see in a lot of the photos, so I, I extended it out. I needed that gap to be visible, and I decided I'm just going to deal with it and leave it there. So you can see it in some of the photos um, in Ash vs. Evil Dead. I kept the guard on. Um, I did take down the weathering a little bit. Um, if you look up into the gear, you can see the chain wraps around the sprocket there. So that's still a very nice profile. Um, again... The black, I extended it, uh, I cut away a lot more of it. The, the uh, blade extender is visible on both sides. Uh, you can see all the detail of the blade, so if you're curious about the size, you can see I got some numbers and things in there. Um, the chain is a chain for an Oregon 20 inch. Uh, let's see the little gear here. It is, there's a little silver guy. It's a D72 chain, so there's always one little gimmick that's a different color than the rest that'll tell you what it is it's a little big for the blade that uh that i the bar that i picked up so um ideally a fatter body or a tighter chain would have been better so i have used some epoxy to keep this chain on the bar um i was originally gonna use gorilla glue but that doesn't hold so get rid of that it sucks but like i said it's got a nice Overall look to it. It's complete. And now I can just display it. It's heavy as F. So all the weight is in the bar. And it's very difficult to balance. But it's mostly just going to be a display piece. But put your hand in there. And you pick the sucker up. And you, guy friend, have some evil dead business to take care of. So... Again, uh, this entire build was courtesy of some tutorials I found on Brett's Groovy Chainsaws. I was very, very content with the, the instruction. It allowed me to confidently build, and it's a great, 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 great build. I've also gone in and made some more weathering adjustments up front here. So this thing, this thing is done, and if you have questions, you can reach out to me, but the best place to get all the info is Brett's Groovy Chainsaws. So... Happy building, and uh, hope you guys uh, put some videos up and tag us so we can check out what you're doing. Thank you.